boat. Oh goodness, you're beautiful. Very nice boat. So we're gonna stop at this restaurant over here and eat. We've never eaten there and we're hungry, so we can pull our boat right up to it. Super sweet. So that's where we're going. This is the view from our restaurant. Can't beat the view. What's this place called? Johnny's. Johnny's on the lake. Johnny's on the Johnny's lake. On the yeah, baby. Hopefully their food's good. Yeah, they have been, like, they're all the rage in Miami when we watch that uh, haul over and what. It's a cool boat. It's loud. Can you hear it? That's a party cruiser right there. Yeah, I know. It exceeds the weight limit, sir. <laughs> Got a beautiful sailboat. We're at my parents on Ford Lake today, and that's just gorgeous. Absolutely beautiful. There was another sailboat. Oh, it's behind the trees. You can't really see it. I wonder if they're friends. The two sailboats. What do you think, Allie? <laughs> He's ignoring me. Absolutely gorgeous. Hi, buddy. This is our current situation. Life is hard. And Sophie's got a puppy, so, you know. What else could you ask for? probably 50 feet from shore and it's still like not even too deep. Dave is trying to get us out by <laughs> modifying the use of the troll motor. We thought we could go to the beach but we were very very wrong. The lake here is how deep? Well, 32 feet at the most. So we thought our propeller was <laughs> toast. Drug the we drug. What happened was we drug the bottom with the propeller. We didn't knock anything loose, but it was a freaky like the engine did this like jolty thing. Yeah. It was totally scary, but <laughs> it was just that. We were, we were like 50 feet from shore and in like a foot and a half water. Yeah. This is, Pontiac Lake is crazy. This is Very a different shallow. kind of lake. You can't open up your boat here either. You can't put your prop, your prop all the way down and just open it up. It's just, it's too shallow. I've never been in a lake like this before. <coughs> this fishing is good here. I can see why all the seaweed. All the seaweed. Yeah. It's like 10 feet of seaweed and then the top of the water. Right. You could you have to fish with a weedless night crawler or a weedless, self weedless fish on the air. Yeah. Well, they're having no problem opening up their boat. These guys keep circling around us. They're having a good old time. 
Yeah, they keep like sending us all their waves. It, they're just having a good time, but it's kind of annoying. <laughs> but yeah, they're having a good old time. Nice boat. Anyway. Anyway, so it's been a learning experience on Pontiac Lake. And yeah, Sinclair was just too rough today, so we drove all over the place, but yeah, we can't handle big waves at all. I mean, very low profile. I don't know if you guys can tell. We're right in, we're very low profile bass, but kind of hard to tell without dropping my phone in the lake. <laughs> so. Party barge. Looks like they're barbecuing and everything. You can see the smoke. Pretty cool. Oh, yeah. And then, look at this guy over here. That, is that a marina? Oh, it is a marina. I was going to say, this guy's got like 15 bucks. <laughs> but it's a marina. They're all pontoon boats, which is lame. Oh no, I wasn't recording. Look at the paddle boat. Pretty sweet. Don't see those on the lake anymore. That's an interesting boat. It's totally green. Like, I've never really seen that color before. I wish I could get closer up. I need a camera. But yeah, pretty cool. A nice boat. There's the Silverado in the boat. Pretty for a white guy. Hello. What'd you say? Yeah, I know I can see it. You're nearsighted. You can't see things far away. That's what you have me for. Because I can see far away. That's beautiful. Very nice, very nice. This is just a path along the water. All right, here's our next little stop. Two lily patty for you. Cool little path just to hike. It is. And the sunset is backdropping it so beautifully. Wow, you guys, look at this. It's gorgeous. This is Michigan. This is why Michigan is beautiful. Oh, you know, we need some driftwood for the turtle. I guess that's dried out wood, not really driftwood. And that sunset is going to be spectacular. What are these things? That's a caterpillar nest? That's crazy. Maybe. That's interesting. Weird. Got some beautiful colors behind it. Best time of year in Michigan. Fall. Almost fall.
if we find anything interesting on the beach. My husband's Pepsi and stuff, but that's pretty cool. Piece of driftwood. Yeah, this is where we're at. Man, somebody is drumming their heart out over there. Hopefully they're not playing anything that'll give me copyright infringement. Seaweed. Dog tracks. Saw some dogs playing here earlier. What is that? Seaweed. I don't even see any shells. This is cool though. You got a log, a tree that obviously fell a long time ago. I don't know if I dare walk on it. I'm getting too old and oblong for that, but this is cool. This is way cool. Yeah. It's amazing. There's days. It's beautiful here. It's absolutely gorgeous. No shells. Not the leanest beach I've ever seen with no shells. There's plenty of rocks. I need to find some drift driftwood for guap or turtle. It's pretty guappy. Look at these. Look at this hole. Is that I wonder what kind of animal is burrowing in there? That's super cool. I love it. There's an animal hole right here, like a burrowing hole. It's cool. Or maybe I'm just easily amused, I don't know. <laughs> 